What is up guys, it's the Sniper Squad 95 and today is episode 9 of Creative Crazy Fun Time. Today, as always, we have Teeny Snows 910 and Figo 66. We have three people joining us and that's Enfigo 66, uh, Pink Hater 2, and last Dizziest Rabbit 3. Alright, and today, um, as you guys saw in episode 8, then um, I did build a mob spawner where you, which can get your resources. And in this episode, I'm going to actually t um, tell you guys how to control the spawn. So you can actually control the spawn at any time. So what we need for this is a lava bucket, a uh, sticky piston, uh, any block of any kind. I'm just going to choose cobblestone for this one. Redstone, a uh, redstone repeater, a redstone torch, and a lever. So let's get started. You can also build this in survival because I did it in my survival world so pretty much I know what I'm doing. So first off, you're going to want to um, plan out where you're going to place the lever at. I'm going to place it right here. And I'll teach you guys how to do it. Um, let's see if I find a good height where you can do it. Alright, so I'm going to place it like that. Make sure you um, do the redstone like I'm doing. Like, place the redstone like I'm doing, but you don't have to place it exactly where I'm going to place it, but you have to make sure the redstone, like this, is laid out like this next you're gonna want to stack basically stack redstone torches on top of each other like like this and so on I'm just gonna keep on going up yeah just gonna keep on wanting to Wanting to stack uh, rent store torches like this. Alright. Now, um, basically, if you want it, in whichever way you want it, uh, if you want this, once this, if this is turned on, then, um, for me, however I want it, when I want it, um, like whenever I pull this lever on, then the uh, spawn control will be off, and then mods will start spawning. So, so how we're gonna do this is um, like this. So this one's on. Actually, uh, it goes like this. Oh crap. There we go. Actually, like this. So basically, this is off while that's on, and uh, vice versa. So let's turn this off. And I'm gonna show you up how to wire the pistons up. Where we're gonna want to put this. Uh, what we're gonna want to put it right here. So just build like a little place. Crap. Alright. It could be like this, however you want it. You, you should be able to, if you want, you can cover it up. Let me measure this real quick. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, ten, one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this is perfect. Now I'm just making it like three away from the actual corner. 
closer. So of course you're gonna wire it one over the redstone. But actually I'll build two more right here. And for those you're gonna also want a uh, three both of them three away, three by three away from the actual corner right here. Alright guys, we are back. And uh this is basically what we've done. I just built like two of those. Like that, but except I didn't cover them up because I'm gonna show you what they look like when I actually place it down down the lava because this does require lava. So I'm just gonna wire this up here, and you should use be able to use redstone repeaters if you need to. If they don't reach out far enough, the redstone doesn't. Then um, you have to use those. It doesn't affect the uh, the pistons in any way. But yeah. Just put one right here. Measure this out. Yep, should do it. And keep in mind if you want to do it the exact same way I'm doing, uh, this is like four blocks out from apart from each other. This is five from here, and this is this side is four. And as you can see, it does not reach far enough out here, so uh, you're gonna need another redstone repeater. So like this, I'm gonna place it right here, and it still works like that. There we go, we got our pistons. Wait, are these sticky pistons? Oh no. Um, if you put sticky pistons, uh, clear that, just destroy it, and I could actually put a regular piston. Yeah, you just basically need a regular piston. Do not put a sticky piston. Alright, so we got our pistons uh, powered up. As you can see, this uh, lever is off, but the uh, inverter made it so that the pistons are on. So basically, if you pull that lever down, then that indicates that it's, um, that'll make let you know that you turn the spawn on, so basically the spawn, uh, the mobs are spawning. Now the next part we're going to want to place lava, and no this will not bring the piston down, even though it has wood on it. So keep in mind it's like uh, 4 out from there. And if you want you can cover it up. I won't cover up the lava because it gives off light. Actually, let me show you how it works. So this is pretty much the inside of the holes I built. All right, now watch how this works. Yeah, you don't want to make it like too close to the hole or else it's not gonna, there's gonna give off a little bit of light and mobs won't spawn as quickly. Like the farther you make the lava from the hole like this, like the farther you make it, the better. But I just made it like this, so. It, it will still spawn mobs though, even if it gives off a little bit of light. So don't worry. 
But yeah, like I said in the last episode, uh, if you happen to change the difficulty from peaceful to normal, for example, uh, the mobs will not spawn on the first day, but they will start spawning on the next day. Uh, sometimes they will spawn on the first day, just like one or two. So let me turn it off, the lever. So now the now the spawn controls off. Actually, I did actually um I did it the wrong way. Like I didn't want it to. Like I wanted that to be on, and then like the to let me indicate that the mobs are spawning. But um this work way works too. So. Let me show you. And it does not reach out that far, so uh let's see if the other ones are. Alright, so forget it what I said, um you're gonna wanna make it closer. Pretty much like this. I'm not gonna bother fixing the other ones because you pretty much get how it's gonna look. I'll fix this one just to show you. Oh, actually, that's... Is that the right amount? Yes, it is the right amount of space. Yes, it is. Alright, so... It's enough to push the lava in. And so that's basically what it looks like. It controls the mob spawning. I'm just messing with it a little bit, but yeah, it does work. And say you turn it off. It does push it back in. It does take some time for a little bit of time for it to disappear, but it eventually disappears. It doesn't really take that long though. So you know it's lava is very slow, there we go. Alright, so that's pretty much how you basically control the spawn. So yeah, uh, let's go see what uh, everyone else is doing. Let's run map. Oh, we've gamer tags off. I'm guessing this is new. Oh, this is a nice chair. There's some stuff I haven't seen yet, because they probably just recently been built. Who's this? Oh cool, Pokeball. That is so nice. Who else is building what? Where's everyone else at? Everyone ever, maybe everyone else is just hiding. Oh, there he is. There's Tinius. This is a cool, nice house he built. I'm assuming it's a little tower of some sort. Oh, actually, it's a rocket ship. That's cool. What's down here? What did Infingo build? Tigo build. Don't wake it up. Wow. So yeah, uh, Pink built that Pokeball, so... Tini's built the rocket ship, and then Figo built the present, and... Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. I don't know what Rabbit's doing, but... I don't know. But any guy, anyway guys, we're gonna leave it off here. Thank you for watching. As always, my name is the Sniper Squad 95 Make sure to hit that like button.